Welcome into Ski TV, coming to you from Soundset out here in Minnesota. Man behind it, Slug, welcome man. Thank you for having us out, first off, man. Oh, thanks for, for attending. I was inspired by, by you guys growing up here in, in Minnesota as a kid and seeing what you guys have built now, starting this. I mean, 20 years of Rhyme Sayers. Did you think going back in 95 that you guys would be this big? Was this always part of the vision or are you, is it still a shock to look out and see 30,000 people in your backyard, basically? Man, I don't know that we ever had a real, a real end game. And we still don't. Like, I don't know yeah. what's going to happen, if this is going to go for another 20 years, or if they're going to fire me I don't think you are. I think, I think you're good. You guys are on Everybody the Everybody right keeps path. saying that. I, yeah, you know, no. knock, knock on some wood. <laughs> don't worry. Now, how important has it been for you guys to expand outside of just the Ron Saros ecosystem for you a sound know, set? I feel like as we are, were handed more resources in order to expand it, it was our responsibility to bring in people who represented other branches of this tree. And I and I I fully feel that's important when you're when you're when you're doing a festival under the the moniker of a hip hop festival, you can't just present one style. You know, when we first started doing this, we didn't have much of a choice because we didn't have access to bigger name artists, you know. Now that we have access to to them and their booking agents, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like it, it uh and, and now that you know, now people look at this festival and go, what do I got to do to get my artist on there? It's bigger than the sum of its parts, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you don't have to pay attention to those parts that create yeah. that sum, you know? How tough has it been uh, doing this in, in Minnesota without even radio station to promote these things and do that, yet you're selling out. It's turned into the biggest hip hop festival in, in the U.S. Well, I mean, I think that that's very connected to itself. I think that is part of it, you know, because of the fact that there is no huge obvious sponsorship or huge obvious marketing push, it connects to people in a way differently than some of the other festivals that, that I've been to or played at. And it's not that we don't get help from radio, we don't beg for it. You know, yeah. if you jump aboard and yeah. you want to help, that's because you want it. It's authentic, you know yeah. yeah, exactly. And so I feel like you know, a part of that is, it's not an intentional, it's not necessarily like we were like, yo, we're gonna just be like, <laughs> but it's it's more like we just continue to just do what we do and, and be who we are and it resonates with the audience, in which case, when somebody sees you resonating with audience, they go, well, we wanna be a part of that, yeah. you know? And anybody else you're really excited to see out here today? Ice Cube is, is that's the name I put up. You know, we all get, we all get our own little, chances to to kind of nominate who we want to see and uh whenever you see a rapper over 40 chances are i nominated that dude you know but it's ice, cute, ice cube is my nomination it's cute i love the easy e selfie shirt that's incredible slug thank you so much for taking the time oh, that's uh that's tricks r.i.p <laughs> yeah thank you so much for taking the time out here and uh inviting us to this amazing festival and putting on and inspiring others from minnesota like myself to you know go out and do all this stuff in this hip-hop business really appreciate it slug atmosphere about to take the stage next at ski tv on fuse